It's not every day that your job as an anesthesiologist leaves you floating as though you are in space. But for Dr. Matthew Turnock and his Canadian team, that's exactly what it was like as they experienced microgravity for the first time. It was a blast for sure. Very intense, but a lot of fun. The team was on a mission to find out how anesthetic drugs would behave without gravity. In space, giving an anesthetic is challenging because of the space and volume requirements. And also, a lot of the anesthetics we give are inhaled. So if there's an ac accidental circuit disconnection, you know, the entire crew of the spacecraft could be anesthetized, which would be a really bad thing. Dr. Trinock says they developed a model of a spinal canal and filled it with simulated spinal fluid. There's a chance the medication could float up to the brain. Sometimes we see that here on Earth, we call it a high spinal. Their temporary lab was in France, an Airbus A310 that would climb and then drop to create brief periods of weightlessness. Every time the aircraft crests that peak, you get about 25 seconds of zero gravity. And it's not simulated, it's, it's a real zero gravity, exactly how an astronaut would feel in space. And during these moments of weightlessness, they conducted their research. If we remove gravity, we, we hypothesize that the medication actually wouldn't spread at all, um, which is what we found. And so this risk of a high spinal of the medication floating the brain is probably not actually a warranted risk. What they discovered was actually the opposite problem, that the medication doesn't spread enough to work. All this leading to more questions and a quest to find answers through future space research. Michelle Brunoro, CTV News, Port Moody.